what is the best leather conditioner for boots? Now, it's really tough when you're looking online, if you're looking at Reddit or if you're looking at any other video, it's really hard to know whether a certain boot conditioner is gonna work for your boot because every single leather is different. What works on this might not work on yours. So I wanted to find out what the most popular boot conditioners actually do to leather. And I wanted to do it on a way where I could test a bunch of different of the most popular boot conditioners on a single surface so that you get a really good idea of the pros, the cons, strengths, weaknesses, how each boot conditioner actually performs. If you followed this channel for any amount of time, you know I've done nearly 100 boot reviews and comparisons, plus I've reviewed several different leather conditioners and done a bunch of tutorials on how to use saddle soap, mink oil, all that good stuff. So in this video, I'm taking 10 of the most popular boot conditioners and I have 10 of these natural, these are vegetable tan leather coasters. These have absolutely no dye on them. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna show you objectively what the uh, each boot conditioner does to each of these samples. We're gonna be able to compare them side by side, head to head, and I'm gonna grade each leather conditioner on four categories. The first one is how much does it darken the leather? The second is how much it actually penetrates and conditions the leather. The third is how much weather resistance or water resistance it provides for the piece of leather. And then lastly, I'm gonna talk about how much shine each, each one produces. So if you want a high shine, you'll be able to find that. Or if you want a very low shine, you'll also be able to find that. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I learned, what my three favorites are, but you should also have a really good idea of what the most popular boot conditioners can do and which one's right for your purpose. So the contenders for this challenge are Leather Honey, Obanoff's Heavy Duty LP, Cobbler's Choice, Hubert's Shoe Grease, Lexol, Venetian Leather Balm, Mink Oil, Red Wing Boot Oil, Bic 4, and Saphir Renovator. Now let's go ahead and apply these 10 conditioners to these 10 coasters right here and figure out what they're all about. Now I'm gonna grade each of these samples on four different categories. So one is color, two is absorption, and three is water resistance. I'm also looking at the amount of shine, but for the first three, color, absorption, and water resistance, I'm gonna give one of three grades, either a plus, a squiggly line, or a minus. For shine, that's a little bit more subjective, and some people want shine, some people don't. So I'm just gonna kind of discuss which ones have the most shine, which ones have the least shine. Now I've conditioned all these leather discs and I have graded all the boot conditioners. So let me go through this list and tell you how each one of these leather conditioners did with color, conditioning, water resistance, and shine. First up is Leather Honey. So this one had a little bit of color change, but nothing too significant. Did a great job at conditioning, and it also did a great job with water resistance. This has a slight shine to it, so beware of that when you're using it. Next up is Ovenoff's LP. This significantly darkened the leather, uh, but it also had excellent conditioning and excellent water resistance, and it did not add much shine. Next is Cobbler's Choice. This didn't darken the leather too much, but it was moderate. It had excellent absorption and its water resistance was okay. There's no shine to Cobbler's Choice. Hubert's Shoe Grease, this significantly darkened the leather, but it absorbed really well and it also offered a lot of water resistance. This has no shine to it. Lexol, this did not change the color of the leather at all, so it gets a plus for that category. However, it didn't penetrate very deep into leather and it also didn't offer any water resistance. This has no shine to it. We have Venetian Leather Balm. This didn't change the color of the leather at all, so it gets a plus for that category. It penetrated pretty well into the leather and conditioned well, so it gets a plus for that category. And it also offered a decent amount of water resistance, so I'm giving it a plus in that category as well. It has a slight shine to it. Here we have Mink Oil. This significantly darkened the leather. It did an okay job. It wasn't so good at absorbing. It mostly stayed on top. And also, it didn't really offer as much water resistance as I thought it would, so I gave it a one of the neutral signs for that. There's no shine to it. Red Wing Boot Oil, this slightly darkened the leather, but nothing too significant. It conditioned really well, but it didn't offer too much water resistance. It was pretty neutral in terms of water resistance. There is no shine to this one. Big Four did not darken the leather at all, so it gets a plus for that category. It did not do a great job of absorbing, but surprisingly, it actually did okay. It had a little bit of water resistance, so I gave it a neutral for that. And there is no shine to Big Four. Last, I have Saphir Renovator. This didn't change the color of the leather too much. It did a little bit. I'm still giving it a plus in that category. It, it penetrated really, really well. Did a great job conditioning, so it gets a plus there. And it actually offered a little bit of water resistance. I'm giving it a neutral in that category. Uh, it does have a shine to it. It definitely has the most shine of any of these in Saphir. Here are my top three favorite boot conditioners. The best overall was the Venetian Leather Balm. This was the only one that I tested that didn't change the color of the leather. It offered a great amount of restoration to the leather and it also 
uh, offered some water resistance too. So it has a little bit of shine to it. So that might be something you want to look for, but it's very, very moderate. Nothing like Saphir. So Venetian Leather Balm, definitely, in my opinion, for what I use for my boots, Venetian Leather Balm is the ticket for me. Now, if I had a really old, nasty pair of boots and I just wanted to restore the leather as much as possible and I hadn't touched them in three, four years, then probably the best boot conditioner that I saw in terms of restoring the leather, I'm gonna give that to Leather Honey. So Leather Honey, it changed the color of the leather, it darkened it a little bit. Um, it also, it offered a surprising amount of water resistance that I, I didn't see coming. But in terms of like the, where it goes on and, and the way the texture it goes on with, uh, leather and honey really seeps into the le leather super easily. And I think it did a fantastic job. It really, it worked well. And uh, yeah, if I had an old beat up crusty pair of boots, I'd use leather honey. And lastly, if I wanted to really work on the water resistance of my boot, I would probably go with Obanoff's Heavy Duty LP. It was pretty tough between that and Hubert Shoe Grease. Those were both, I mean, if you did Hubert Shoe Grease, that'd be good too. That was also really, really strong. But overall, I think just the conditioning, it worked. Uh, there's a little more conditioning with Obanoffs in addition to the water resistance. So I would probably go with this one just for the sake of how easy it was to put on. And it also did a fantastic, it repelled all the water. So basically the coaster, I put it on, didn't even get wet. Uh, the water just basically wiped right off. So if it was only for preserving it from water and I didn't care about darkening the leather, I would go with Obanoffs heavy duty LP. Now, before you use any of these leather conditioners and you have an old dusty pair of boots, it's really important to clean them. And for that, I would use saddle soap. So make sure you hit that video that's popping up on the screen right now to learn how to use saddle soap and which is my favorite saddle soap before you get started and use any of these conditioners. Till next time, guys, put your best boot forward.